I'm starting off this DIY project with a foam board. I'm going to measure out what I need to use for this project from a used foam board. And I got this foam board from Hobby Lobby because I will be spray painting for this DIY and it will wrinkle if you spray paint on Dollar Tree foam board. That is why I ran away from Dollar Tree foam board for this particular project and used a different one that I know will not wrinkle after spray painting. Now that I'm done cutting, I will be drawing up lines starting from the middle of the bottom part and then spreading out the lines to fill up the top. I'm going to cut off the excess foam board and then trace out all of the lines with hot glue. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. So guys, I found out that this particular glue gun that I have been using for a while is not so good when you're doing a pattern like this because it keeps pausing. And because of that, it didn't make my lines look nice at all. I tried to adjust it to make it look better, but hopefully it won't be too noticeable. I spray painted this gold and this is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna keep this aside and take out the Dollar Tree bowls that I will also be using for this project. And these are the types that I'll be using. And I'll be using three, and I will be cutting all three into two using a soldering iron. I like to emphasize here that if you're not comfortable using a soldering iron, please ask anyone around the home or your friends for help. It is really important that you have straight cuts on the bowls so that when they're glued onto the board, it would lay flat. Now that I have the bowls separated, I will be making a design on the bowls. And to help me with this design will be to cover up some part of the bowls with tape. I'll be taking these pieces outside and spray painting just the inside white. When they were dry, I brought them in and took off the tape. Now you can still see the glassy look at the front, which is the look that I was going for. That's why I spray painted just the inside and left the outside. I'm also going to be using Dollar Tree confetti and I'll be using the gold for this project. Now I removed the gold part and separated it from the other ones. And then I'll be using Mod Podge as my adhesive for the confetti. I'll be covering up just the lines with Mod Podge 
and then sprinkle the confetti over it. Because the Mod Podge is still wet, when you turn it over, you can still see it looking white. But when it's dry, it's going to be much more visible. This is what it now looks like after an hour. Now you can clearly see the gold confetti showing through the lines. I made a whole mess on the inside. Hopefully it doesn't show too much when this is mounted on the wall. Now I'm going to be taking the board that has been designed with hot glue and then turning it over and using command strips at the back to make it easy to mount this on the wall. You can also use other hardwares for mounting items on the wall. It would still work because this particular DIY is not heavy at all. I'll be taking three of the bowls that I have decorated and gluing them on to the board. I'm making a light groove where the bowls are going to be. And I'm using just hot glue to keep the bowls in place. I'll be using a leftover chain at the bottom just to add to the design. This is absolutely not necessary, but it kind of looks good there at the bottom. This is what it looks like mounted on a wall. Now I'm going to be using remote control push lights and just putting it inside the bowls. The texture of the bowls from outside is smooth and that's what I was going for to make sure that you cannot touch the confetti from the outside. I absolutely love the way the light shines through the lines that have the confetti in a beautiful way. This is a wall decor and also a source of lighting that shines so bright at night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.